Hey guys, Tech Mentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, we'll show you how to share a calendar with your friends and family on your iPhone. We're gonna show you how to make it so that they can see it and also make edit if they want to. Now, this will work if they have an iCloud account and if they don't, it'll also work, but it will be only public calendar that they can see. So to get started, what you need to do is actually go into settings. Once you go in settings, go click on your name here and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says iCloud and then go down here and you wanna make sure that your calendar iCloud option is turned on and they'll need to also make sure that is turned on because the way it works is when you're sharing calendar on your Apple devices, it is shared through the iCloud server. So that's important. After you ensure that it is turned on, you wanna go over to your calendars app and once you go into your calendars app, you'll notice a layout just like this. We're on iOS 15. You'll notice at the bottom here, you'll have the option for calendars. You can simply click on calendars and it will pop up with the current calendars that are on your phone. Most of the time, the default ones you'll see are gonna be homework and then US holidays and maybe even birthday and a couple other ones depending on if you're using custom calendars. Let's say we wanna create a calendar for our friends to be able to make plans and make edits, see changes, and much more. So what we do is go ahead and add a calendar. And then we'll add a calendar here, and let's name the calendar. So we'll see, name it Squad Cal. And then you can see as an iCloud, you can change the color. We'll just keep it that as is. And as you can see here now, we have another calendar called Squad Cal for Squad Calendar. And now let's say we wanna share that calendar. So you simply click on that eye icon, and then once you click on that eye icon, you'll notice here there's a couple options here that happens here. You have this event notification, you have this public one as well, and then this option here where it says share with. Now this is where it's important that if you wanna share with someone like your friends or family, you can simply click on that. Once you click on that, now you'll be able to add them by simply typing in their contact on your phone or putting their e actual email address. So here, for example, we have saved up a contact, so we'll just simply click on that plus icon and search for contact here. So we don't have one, so we'll just go ahead and add one here. Let's say we want to add one at friends at, at friend.com, something like that. We'll hit add, and as you can see here now, it will send a request to them to simply be able to view and edit. Now, let's say for some reason we don't want them to edit, you can disable that, enable it however you want. You can stop sharing with that friend in particular or family member just simply by hitting that stop sharing as well, and then you can remove them and they won't be able to see it. Again, to add it back on, you can just simply click on the eye, add person, you can add multiple people to a calendar, as many as you like from your contact, and you can share as long as, again, they have their iCloud turned on. Now, if they don't have an iCloud account for some reason, maybe they're on another device or something that doesn't use it, you'll need to enable this public calendar option. This will allow pretty much anyone that subscribes to it to read only, so they can't make any edits, but they can see the version of the calendar here and we'll be able to hit that done. Again, that's only optional if you want to just share them and they don't have a iCloud account with them. You can hit that share and you can send it to them as well. So that's how you share a calendar with your friends and family. Hopefully this video is helpful and if this video is helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.